Is there an owner to this car? Hey, is there there's an owner to this car right here? At the show over here in Santa Clara, they got so much variety of stuff. Right here is a 1932 Hot Rod, Street Rod, Go Rod, very, very rare car. Lincoln four-door Continentals right now are absolutely hot. Right here's a Chevrolet Nomad, 1957, probably the most popular car ever built. This car right here is beautiful, beautiful red. What cars he got? He's got a 54 Chevy convertible. How long have you had the car? Uh, let's see, about... This is only a 30-minute show. Okay, and my son was 18, and, uh... Um, uh, he's 54 now, so you figure out how long we've had that car. Well, we're going to call the math team. Oh, 36 years. 36 years you've had that car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. The math wizard back there. We'll probably introduce the owner of this car for about two seconds for two reasons. I think this car right here is fantastic. I looked at this car when I first came in because of the rarity and the uniqueness of this car. You don't see these a lot. You see a little bit of everything. We got Ford Falcons over here. We got Fords. We got Comets. Street Rod over here. This right here is a Model A type pickup truck. Tri-5 Chevys, I think right now, are some of the biggest cars in the market. More children were conceived in the back seat of a 57 Chevy than any other car out there. Do you guys agree? 1965 Chevrolet Supersport, great car. Most people remember a car called the Henry J. Most of them were street rotted. The reason why I was a street rotted back in the early years because these cars were light. And this thing here will fly. This thing will go faster than the speed of light. A guy told me it's fast as the speed of light. And then I said, uh, what happens when you turn on your headlights? He got really confused on that one. Right here is probably one of the rarest years of Corvette, even though 53 was the first year they came out and they made a very limited production of 53s. Now, Corvette, to me, I've always been very partial to them. We built many of them. We worked a lot of them. I bought a lot, sold a lot of them. Corvettes are absolutely an American icon. They're a monster right now. Even cars that are fender weld, flared, set up, tried up. This is like the 427 hood that 67 went ahead and used. I think this car here is spectacular. It's a 1962 Corvette. 62 is kind of a one year only type body style for Corvette. 61 and 62, they did a pointed back end, dual headlights, and they took away the chrome for the side coves. Right behind me is a 1969 Camaro Pace car. Features that I really, really liked a lot, which is one of my buddy Mark's favorite. This car is a four speed car. Getting a four speed pace car is a pretty big deal. Pace cars are kind of neat because of two reasons. Numbers matching, the molly orange interior, the orange stripes on the car. I mean, I just think this is spectacular. This car right here has a unique, unique tilt steering. I think is probably one of the rarest options you're gonna see. That type of option was never really sold a lot or offered a lot back in the 60s and people really didn't know how important you know, tilt steering would really be in these days. Now, how much money you got in that car? $72,000. $72,000. Are you married, John? No. That's why he's not married. I but have he... nobody to tell me no. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it. How much money you got in this thing now? <laughs> his, wife. His, his wife's probably listening, Ask and she's wife. hiding around here somewhere. A lot of uh, hiding dollars from my wife so I can do it. <laughs> you know, she's been hearing a lot of that today, guys. So now you know a real true car guy. What do you think makes a true car guy? The love for a car. We got Elvis in the house. And <laughs> I know, don't let the hair fool you, but he's actually incognito here. Don't tell Priscilla where I am, huh? Don't tell Priscilla where I am. Don't tell Priscilla where you are. A plastic dog to pee on the tires of a street rock. Now, you, when you think you've seen it all, then you see this. <laughs> it's all over. It's all, all over. over. It's good stuff. And again, in the 50s, this right here, this 55 Chevy, excuse me, 57 Chevy, boy, I've got to watch that one. 57 Chevy, done in kind of a bright canary yellow, popular color for street rod people. They love Early it. Early model 1955 Ford. 55 Fords in their year were really, Ford was the biggest car seller on the market. They did the, probably the best anywhere and everywhere until 1955 when Chevrolet came out with the first Tri-5 Chevy. 55 was the very first year of the V8 cars, and they started to hit the market big, and they were untouchable ever since then. We got a lot of things here, like a Super Sport, extremely clean, nice small block in there. Looks like the guy's taking pretty good care of this car. How long have you had this car? Uh, since 66. 41 years. I got 41 it. years? Got it when I was 10 years old, yeah. You know, some, a lot of people are not even that old here. <laughs> yeah, I'm an old guy. I've been kind of holding back in some of the horsepower cars. This car right here came in on a car trailer. Um, I kind of waited for this last 
So this happens to be one of my favorite cars of the show. I don't know the owner. I haven't met him yet. I'm pretty sure if we're standing by this car with a camera, he's going to come out of the woodworks like no one's business. This car here, I was told earlier, has over 2,000 horsepower. And 2,000 horsepower means a lot, this a lot of right of here. Juice. You can just tell. It looks like the quality level of this car here was built with somebody who really knows what they're doing, what they're talking about. The, you can see these tubes coming on the motor right here on the side. I don't want to touch the guy's car. But this right here, this guy here has got nitrous oxide. Plus, he's got some serious toilet flushing carburetor, guys. <laughs> that this car right here wait the camera guy we get the camera guy in here i told you these young guys are all over the place i think they're looking at all the girls here at the show but you know i don't blame them looking at the girls do you not at all not at all are you sure i'm positive <laughs> now we know he's a true car guy someone happened to park a buick regal or something in the parking lot i mean how much do you want for it 3500 does anybody here want to pay 3500 dollars for this car is there, an, is there an offer of $500 on this guy's car? Guess and see if that's the guy. That's like the costume of an official car guy. He has his, he has a t-shirt with the breed, the make and model of his car. Got a wedding ring, simple wedding ring. Short, <laughs> shorts and jeans. I've been, I've been teased all day about these shorts, Don. All the money's right there. Oh. Do you like, do you like my shorts, Tim? Yeah, I do. This is a scary thought when a guy likes my shorts and talks about my legs. I hate that. Well, but my, my friends are telling me you need shorts like mine to fit in. You need shorts like mine to fit in. Uh, but the thing is, I'm not gay. I'm not gay either. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll give you a hug just to get on TV. And every car show has to have a tow truck. Uh, I kind of feel there. It's kind of what. It's kind of what's needed.